Hi, this is Chris here at Fashion TV, and it's London Fashion Week. Hi, I'm Suzanne here at Fashion TV, and we're going to be looking at styles and trends from London Fashion Week. First we have outfit number one. This is a maxi racerback style print dress from Ted Baker. We've paired that up with a pair of heavy block shoes from Carvella. So we're here with Cassie, trends analyst for WGSM. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. So tell me, what have been the most exciting parts of Fashion Week? The biggest thing for me has been the injection of colour. So we've seen it coming through from Burberry, like these really sort of in hyper real colours. So now that London Fashion Week has passed us by, what trends that we saw there are we going to find on the high street? I guess, as I mentioned before, colour will start to come through on the high street, which is fantastic for autumn winter. But we're going to see it in more sort of highlights. So you'll see trims in sort of these bright flashes of like neon pinks or mm -hmm. tangerine oranges or sunburst yellows. What would you say that you'd expect to see get onto the uh, high street after a little while that you've seen in Fashion Week? Colours like browns and camels, I think that was quite prevalent and I think that will probably translate quite well. And can you run me through what you're wearing today? I'm just wearing this jacket, it's Ben Sherman. That's H&M, that's uh, my urban outfit. Outfit two is all from Primark. We have a pencil skirt with a nautical style stripe, long sleeve t-shirt and we've paired that with a tailored bowl jacket. Today was kind of wind down day for London Fashion Week. Yes. So what shows really really stood out for you? I love Richard Nichol, was one of my favourites. Peter Pilotto as well, and Roxander, which was on today. Have you seen some clear trends coming through in London? I think there's um, a lot of like, um, Shagpal fur coming through, and like gorilla yeah. shoulders. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah. And there's been a lot of like, new doors, lace as well. Spikes quilting and I've seen a lot of blue and pink which is quite blue. interesting. So what trends are you seeing coming through for 2011? Uh, I mean there's a lot of fur which is very controversial in the UK I don't quite know. Out of wear the spring, you know, cocoon sort of shape style. Colour blocking is still key. What do you expect to see in Camden or on the high street that you've seen in Fashion Week over the next season? Um, well, I'd say there's going to be a lot of camel still, um, a lot of like hues, like colours, like hues going together. Can you run me through what you're wearing today? My vest, trousers, Aaron Cardi, just keeps me warm. Scarf, just to, you know, edge it off a bit. Outfit number three, we have some leather shorts and a nice nude crepe textured blouse, both from Miss Selfridge. We've paired that with some wedge shoes from Kurt Geiger. So what do you think was the biggest standout look as far as makeup this year? I would say it's definitely the, the uh, Vivian Westwood Red Label show, uh, showing extremely avant-garde, very theatrical and very creative makeup. What do you see from Salon and Fashion Week coming out of the high street in the next little while? Um, the colours, mm -hmm. the um, thing with like block colours. So can you tell me about what you're wearing today? Oh, Saints boots, of course. And then I've got my harem trousers. I love my jewellery, I love my accessories. So that's all that we have for you this week. We hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you again next time.